I mean, maybe I'll, I, maybe I got to look at a different uh, uh, site or something, but in Amazon, that shit is ninety-three fucking dollars for how many servings? Uh, uh, one point nine. It's almost two pounds. Two pounds? Yeah. So it's like that's three, almost three bucks an ounce. That's insane. <laughs> right, dude. Like, I, I'm trying to find like, hey, where's the, you know, maybe I'll, I'll try to go to like their their site, maybe there's some sort of trial, because uh, two pounds is quite significant. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what. So, protein powder, I think, isn't it about ten dollars a pound? Like a high quality protein powder, yeah. about ten bucks a pound. So, like a three pound tub is about thirty bucks, right? Let's let's see. Uh, let's see the protein that I like. Oh, fuck. What's this? All right, so, uh, so two pounds is a tub, and that's 40 bucks. So it's about half the price. Um, more than half. How, what's this again? So I'm looking at just the Jocko Mold bullshit, right? Two pounds is 39, so 40 bucks. That other shit is two pounds for 90 bucks. Two pounds for 40 bucks, so it's 20 bucks a pound. Yeah. And it's for three pounds. Two pounds. Oh, two pounds. So it's thirty-five dollars yeah. a pound. Or no, forty-five dollars a pound. Yeah, for the other shit. So it's only five dollars more a pound. So it's not that that crazy to think about in terms of being right. I mean, am I am I like am I fucking myself in the brain? Like, is, or is that not that far off? So you said forty. The intake. You said the two pounds of cachapa is ninety dollars. <laughs> Yeah. That's forty-five dollars a pound. Yep. Yeah, maybe I'm fucked up, dude. I don't know why why does that seem like so much more hold on. Forty bucks yeah, no, wait, wait. Forty no no, so yeah, you're, you're fucked up. So it's 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 <laughs> twenty bucks a, it's twenty bucks a pound. You're fucking me up. Twenty bucks a pound. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I, dude, you almost had me on that. I was like, oh my god, like what how might how why is it such a mind fucker? No, so the 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 jockey. Yeah, so it's over double. Yeah. Got it. Dude, does that stuff does that stuff give me a hand on the side also? What the fuck? Why, why is Kachava? I mean, the only reason I want to do it is because like like focusing on some brands that are just going hard in the paint. Like last year, in the last year, this year especially, looking at your you know little Instagram thing, YouTube podcast, AG One, uh, Athletic Greens is like probably the top one. They're fucking advertising on every platform. Uh, Kachava is advertising on fucking every platform, and then obviously Mud. The mud water. I mean, those are the top three of these that I've seen like consistently. I mean, maybe there's a few other ones, but I figured that'd be a fun little thing to try. Um, but fucking ninety bucks, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's um. Dude, what is it? Let me. So let's see what's in that stuff. Because I was just looking up also protein, and I might have to give the. Intech is the protein that I go with. Intech, and I'd like to review that on the cat. I, I agree with you saying that, like integrating the the review makes sense. Here's five. So the the protein that I like, two pounds, forty three ninety nine. Yeah, that's decent. It's uh, you know, that's pretty much going rate. It seems like, and, and from judging from what you said about your protein and uh, what you sent me, I mean that one might be better because I think the amount of protein is even more per uh, per scoop than than what I was getting. Or yeah, you could do eighty you, for five pounds. It's fifteen dollars a pound because you just it's only thirty four dollars extra to get uh, the five pound size. So that breaks out to fifteen fifty nine a pound or times five seventy seven ninety nine for five pounds. That's the way to go. Okay, so I'm on their main site, and so it's not quite as it's still more expensive. One time is seventy bucks for fifteen fucking servings. <laughs> Good job, a meal replacement shake. Yeah, I mean it's probably the wrong. That's probably the wrong thing for me, bro. I don't need more fucking meal replacements. I'm, I'm like trying to remove meals from the day. <laughs> that is such a that that's that slaps is such a generic iteration of like what you'd expect it to be meal replacement shake it's like what is it jenny craig your daily super super blend for your gut your brain your muscles your skin your hair your heart your whole health it's all in here 
So, okay, let me, what, what's all in here? All right, you might like this, but this is kind of right up your alley because you're a grain guy, dude. So it's got uh, pea protein. I mean, this is good for your um, your your um, your restriction, your uh, the the, the lent thing. Uh, yeah. Pea protein, organic whole grain brown rice protein, sasha inchi, which is uh, sounds like some. I think that's a fucking South American uh, grain. Uh, organic amaranth, uh, quinoa, and then organic pure whole grain oat. Oh fuck that. Um, this is not for me, dude. Uh, my take, shiitake, maca, rishi, ginger, cordyceps. Dude, it's got a lot of cool shit in it. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm getting all that stuff, though, from my fucking, my greens one. Without all, like, the grains and the carbs and the fucking, like, right now, I'm trying to fucking, like, less calories a day. So this, uh, you know what I mean? Like, and my meal replacement's just been my Jocko protein, which doesn't have all this bullshit fucking carbs in it that I probably don't need. Flax, chia, organic. Yeah, for everything, it's intention. And that's, in terms of like re, um, rehashing what we do on the cast this week, I would like to talk about our structure of macro level programming and kind of the, like, introduce the idea of everything with intention and cave operations, talking about like this task orientation, basically redoing what we did, but under like those, like, specific wanting to introduce those ideas and want and introducing the why behind it like the influencer influenza that as a macro program too just um talk a little bit about what we're doing and why again and just iteration of the the purpose and the path and those kind of categories but i think i mean especially going into like a length period of restriction it challenges me to step outside of like those norms i mean we, we found ourselves in a place where it's like oh no i like even as you were reading off these ingredients you're like oh no that's not for me i'm trying to blah 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 you know and it's um and so like understanding that that's where people are right now like everybody's like i can't touch this i can't touch that i can't touch like everything is so categorical everything is so like oh you don't want to touch meat you don't want to touch or you don't don't eat um carbs or don't eat don't eat uh or only eat your meat and like all this all this stuff is just it's it's put us in a place of like too many categories and too many people like saying that like oh that's not for me or this isn't for me for this reason but like have it, like what are the processes and protocols for getting a firm grasp on what that intention is you know because like oh i'm sorry go ahead yeah so i mean i, I like that the tea up on that i think really the, the whole precedent for getting to a point or arriving at a, you know, at the moment, this is where I'm at is, is trial by fire, right? You gotta start, you gotta put yourself in a, in a, in a state of maybe removing some things from your diet to understand if it is for you or if it isn't right. Like, does it make a difference in its absence or not? Um, are you achieving like your body composition? Are you getting the performance you need? Um, I mean, a big reason for me avoiding like, the carbs as much as like my body weight composition is definitely reflective of that. When I when I increase carbs, body weight goes up. It's like okay, you know that's not for me. Like if I if I want to maintain where I'm at or in, in a leaner state, like that's kind of where I need to be. Uh, I mean, and you look at it this way, like, and one of the, the revelations that I got from Andy Galvin, Dr. Andy Galvin, is a um, really smart guy. It's a little bit hard to understand sometimes, dude. He fucking takes care of it, gets his goddamn point, but he, he mentioned, you know, it's not necessarily like as much about those like the macros as you think like and it's funny because it goes back and forth between um you know the, the macros and then is, is it the macros that matter or is the fucking calories at the end of the day it's only the calories or at the end of the day it's only the macros and and so the, the latest that i got on it was doesn't and once again this subject to change right the latest is it's fucking calories in calories out now of course certain calories Right. I mean, certain macros have more calories. And I forget what, what the breakdown is. But like protein is like three, three calories per gram or some shit. And then like fats are like seven, carbs are like five. I remember like my, my nutrition class from back in the day. Uh, but like the one thing with, you know, carbohydrates is the fact that you do stimulate insulin, which is a hormone, right? And that when, when in, the, in, in a state of insulin uh, uh, stimulation, uh, it drives nutrients into cells and the fat cells are stored, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, right? You, you need to do that when you have like too much sugar in your blood, i.e. in the form of carbohydrates, the carbohydrates that break down to glucose. And you know, you put it in your cells as glycogen 
and, it, and excess goes into because there's only so much you can you can hold in your liver. There's only so much glycogen you can hold in your muscle cells, your fascia, and the rest is not fascia, it's just muscle cells, and the rest of it goes into your adipose tissues. Now, when you're when you're constantly soliciting um, an insulin response, it, it like turns off a pathway for your body to like burn fat. It's gonna you know what I mean like prioritizing fat burning. So like that's one of the reasons why. And so once again like that's where where I've arrived at like that that modality. Oh, that's for me or that isn't for me. Right, but like I like the, the the thought of how do people arrive at that, and and unfortunately, what what is that? Where do we get that from? Fucking once again, influence or influence. I mean, where am I getting this from? Right, listening to podcasts and fucking, and but ultimately you gotta try it yourself because if this shit doesn't work, well, you don't do it, and you discard that information. You search out a new paradigm. Well, this is this is why I like this conversation too, and why I feel the need to redo the whole manly pee conversation around it is because so what what people do then is take some science like you just mentioned about the insulin response and constantly let's say um seeking carbohydrates as a primary energy source rather than teaching metabolic flexibility and things of that nature that that we've always promoted but like what what happens is is a slight a skewing of nutrition and so like you'll look at something like cachava and just out of one out of the 90 ingredients that are in it you'll see organic pure whole grain oat and immediately say that's not for me well how many other people are doing that that need are like this thing is really packed with superfoods that i mean through and through that would or just in their diet in general like that's what i'm noticing as far as like what I've done, and you don't know kind of what you need. I would agree that the macro, the macros are not like focusing on the macros is a silly, one-sided kind of myopic view. It's the nutritional density and like all of the superfoods and their their intention and how they function within your body. And so, like looking at something like cachava, I wouldn't take it as like a carbohydrate supplement. It's more of like a all in like all all of the stuff that is in it from chlorella, like I've been doing stuff with chlorella, moringa, you know, organic spinach, organic green tea, all these things. So it it brings up the fallacy of, of influence or influenza, but it also opens the door to have conversations about like supplementation in general and all of these superfoods and thinking about like, what are these patterns of delivery? So is there truth to your body's ability to absorb all of these things when they're in a supplement or are you better off eating just the, this the food themselves and then like tying it to the whole fasting idea is like sometimes you don't have a choice like so people holding themselves at hostage over these influencer influenza ideals that uh, they, you know, somebody spits out some really convincing science as to what, why you should never touch carbohydrates or something, and it's like, wait a minute, like we're 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 going a little too far left field, you know, when we do that, and it's, I mean, this will be a, an experiment for me because I'm going to be running through having to eat a lot more carbohydrates than I normally would, but I'm like, shit, my joints feel a little bit better today. I wonder why, you know, like have I been, have I been, I don't know, you know, like. What what will be my my key takeaway there? But I don't I don't know, man. It's it's kind of hard to even really put into words what I'm kind of trying to think. But uh, this whole this whole idea around worrying that came around manly P and like I think people are selling fear and selling problems more often than like that guy that 109 year old dude that's just like dude do what makes you feel good. Like and the only way you know that is by just doing stuff. Like he doesn't. <laughs> You know, that can be taken too far, obviously, but also, like, know what's nur- – so this focus on intention, it's like know what's nourishing. You made some really cool comments about, like, well, I you, you don't have to read science to know that, like, when you eat oatmeal, you get bloated, you get gas, you start to look a little puffier in the mirror. It's like you can make those ass- assessments without any kind of influence whatsoever. It's like, oh, well, I'm tired all the time. Well, maybe you need to – have a more fat forward morning or fast in the morning and use your body and like teach your body metabolic flexibility and like have some kind of core tenets around intention with nutrition rather than this like categorical don't eat this don't eat that and ironically tying it to a lint which says don't eat anything <laughs> i can't eat shit but like as i sit here and eat on a fucking bowl of quinoa but that's the thing too is like 
when you strip everything away to what is not what you not what you think you need based on influencers, but what's available to you. It's like, dude, I've I've never been more satiated by 150 grams of quinoa with a few cashews in it. Like, you know, and take that 40 days. And that's not the point of a lentil fast, like a lent a lent fast, but it's you know, it's some key takeaways, I guess. It'll give you some data point. I'm intrigued by it. You know, I, I'd like to see. Uh, I mean, as I said, bro, and then I one time like ate a bag of nuts, bro. Like at the end of the week, I gained five fucking pounds. And like, I keep my diet. Yeah. Like, I have the luxury if I can eat the same stuff just about every day, and I pretty much do. Like, I I meal prep the same. I mean, I don't get bored with it. You know what I mean? I also meal prep like roundabout, so it's it's pretty much like I have enough like between you know my chickens, between my triceps, you know. New York steaks, uh, fucking tri- uh, T-bone, you know what I mean? Like, where I'll make my stews, and it's like, I always kind of have, like, this rotating, but it's almost very similar. I mean, every day it might differ a little bit, but generally speaking, I eat the same shit every day, you know, or at least let's go on a weekly, on, on average weekly, because the days get mixed up a bit. But it's like, when I add other things into it, it's tasty, you know, and, like, I get fucked. I go to Nugget, and I, like, oh, yeah, look at these nuts. Hell yeah, dude, pistachios. And then I go crazy with them. You know what I mean? Like, oh, a bag, that should last you. Like, how long does a bag of nuts last you, bro? Like, a month, a couple weeks, three weeks? Like, I will crush it in fucking, like, three days. Like, it'll be gone before the end of the week, that's for certain. You know what I mean? Like, because it's that good, and my body just stores the fuck. Like, dude, I would love to have fucking, like, bread all the time back in the day. But also, it makes me kind of tired. You know what I mean? And it's like, I know I'm not doing the right thing. And, like, my body composition, like, shows it at the end. So it's like, okay. So as you go, like, I, I wouldn't say it's a fear thing. It's just, like, I know what I want to do. Like, I've been, and, like, around what I'm eating, I, I, I'm putting in my body, like, things that I know, like, are predictable in terms of, like, maintaining my weight, my performance in jiu-jitsu, or uh, whatever other element I might, might be uh, engaging in. It's like, okay, that's why I'm doing it. Now, I look at this, this Kachaba thing, and I go, and, and here's one thing that, I mean, we should probably touch on this one day, because, like, this here's one of my challenges to it, is, like, we... And like the, the newest thing, or not new, it's been around for a while, super food, super food. It's like, what the fuck's that even mean, man? You know what I mean? Like, why is organic amaranth a super food? Why is fucking ma- maki berry, camu camu berry, like all these esoteric fucking weird sounding fruits that are only relegated to like certain niche areas in the world. Like, why is that, a, what makes that a super food? You know what I mean? Like, I'm, and that's a broad, but I mean, maybe there are like substantiations throughout all the time. Hella vitamin D. It's like I'm looking at the fucking, you know, the, the nutrition's over here, and like you're right, like it's impressive with how much shit is in there. But it's like, uh, you know, fucking look at the vitamins. Like, eh, it's all right, you know, it's not fucking like. I mean, it's not bad. Actually, there's a, there's a lot of good stuff in here, and maybe that's the whole point of it. Uh, but like potassium, we were talking about that. That's six percent. Like, where the fuck do you get potassium from? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, exactly. the rest are pretty high, actually. So maybe that that answers my question. But like, they always call. Like, I feel like there's a guy there, super big, like, super big. Like, what? Super why? You just got more B1, or you know, like, and it's that's a hard thing to tease out, especially in a, you know, you know, uh, a packaged brand like this. With all, I mean, this thing is fucking stacked. It's stacked. Yeah. I. Got all sorts of shit in there. Yeah, and I don't think that I was. Yeah, I'm, I don't. I know that you don't operate from a place of like, oh, I don't eat that from fear. But I'm saying that like, if you look at the influencer culture and what's out there, it's like, meat's gonna kill you. Carbs are gonna kill you. Carbs leads to you know that fat's gonna kill you. Before that, it was all fat's gonna kill you. Now any now eat anything but fat. You know, eat every now keto's gonna save your life. It's like all these things. Just whereas you, I was. And positioning that against the guy who's like, yeah, just, you know, smoke cigars and drink whiskey and eat pecan ice cream because it makes me feel good. You know, there's... Yeah, yeah it was, I mean, let's get out. I think I last week we talked a little bit about it, but it's like, there are genetic freaks out there. You know well, what I mean? They could like literally fucking do whatever they want and do like, never get a cold. You know what I mean? And like, well, let me, even, but yeah, that's the that was my point. Like, I didn't go into that in detail, but that's like, the point I was going to get to was like, that that right there in and of itself is like two sides, I would say, of a continuum. You know, one guy who just eats whatever the fuck he wants, but he does what he feels good, what makes him feel good. And like somebody who's steeply rooted in science and some scientists and the science here and the science there and the science this and the science that tells you to do this. So like, hence our purpose, Left Coast Caveman. It's kind of, where do we find that middle ground? And I think that's where we zero in on intention. To eat, like, and that's where you were kind of getting at too, is like you, like I think we were we were arriving at some kind of rubric. It's just 
trying to help codify that for our listeners who aren't as educated or may may or may not be, but looking for that middle ground between the two, you know what I'm saying? Like have a healthy understanding of what functions, what these functions are. And I would say like to answer your question, I think that's a good conversation starter as well. Our conversation continuers like superfoods. Well, that's probably generally speaking, like has some level of like significant impact on key core ailments and or functionalities of the the cave the cave homo sapien like either it's helps you sleep better you know helps you helps you reduce inflammation helps you your joints and mobility you know like all these things helps you boost your immune system i don't know like we could create some kind of a rubric around that and couch it within superfood but like all for the purpose of determining what your intentions are like yeah i don't i want to burn more fat and so if i eat carbs all the time my reduces my body's ability to kick in that thermogenetics and and the all that kind of stuff you know yeah yeah and so like my takeaway on this is like okay obviously intention is a big umbrella for us like i mean essentially it's like every pass of what we do is like you know be intentional think about it right but how do we arrive at intention right how, how, how that's like a, a good starting point it's like how do you arrive at intention like how do you yeah i mean my thought is the first place is you know having a goal of some sort like either i want to maintain body weight i want to fucking look great i want to fucking put on muscle like whatever that might be man like i want to fucking build up my back or fucking get that hood going i mean i want to perform that i want to do a little trap i mean yeah I, I think that's probably the most logical place right it's like what's your intention right um so like we're goal just e- easily speaking goals having a clearly defined maybe it doesn't even have to be clearly defined it's a goal of some sort right like succinct it doesn't have to be fucking you know uh, a paragraph and then from there, and I think this is where it gets difficult, is you have to, like, I think the next two steps from, like, you look at the right at attention, you've got to set a goal, and the next thing you got to do is you got to do your homework. you got to figure it out. And, like, that's where it gets really hard because, you know, fucking depending on where you go, what search fucking site you're using, Google, Brave, fucking DuckDuckGo, you're going to get different information on what the right, or your social media influencers or these products like Kachava is going to tell you that it's fucking load up with superfoods and then jock goes like you need to fucking drink malt whatever the fuck that is and it's um but you gotta do your homework and then i think that like the most important piece is you fucking you gotta like put it in motion you gotta run the experiment on the body like in in vivo bro in life in real life not in vitro not in fucking cell culture you gotta do it in fucking vivo and like that's where it gets hard because like Science is difficult, right? And especially like there's so many different variables, but I think you can get, you can arrive at some really good conclusions over time if you're being mindful. And I'm not saying you gotta metric all your diet stuff because that's a little cumbersome. That's not always, I don't know. I, I don't think that might be the right. I mean, I, I like it. I, I like that discipline around it. I think it's cool. We can arrive at quicker, you know, inferences, I think. But there was being that, you know, we're in 200 bodies and uh, most people should be as well. And you probably should be able to understand like, oh fuck dude, like eating fucking sourdough jacks every day. Um, it's not working for me. You know, I'm getting fat. I don't fucking perform well. I don't think well, or whatever that might be. So, like, I, I'm sure there's much more to it, but like, that seems to be a basic way to arrive. Like, how do you arrive at your attention? Like, following those fucking steps, right? Yeah, I would say both. Both of those steps is what's your goal in reference to what ailments are you currently experiencing? What What would you like to mitigate? Yeah. You know, oh, I'm tired all the time. I'm cry- like helping maybe we create a couple rubrics of like starting point rubrics. Um, but damn, I mean, like the, 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 the layers upon layers upon layers of nutrition and where, to, where you can go with that is lifelong. But helping people understand what, what products might be out there and our take on them. I mean, this cachava, it is stacked. And it would be perfect for this Lent fast because it's got, yeah, perfect, yeah, it's, got it a perfect, like it. <laughs> it's got a perfect blend of carbohydrates to protein. Well, I'd say it's heavier on the carbohydrates, but that's, you know, for this specific intention, you know, like I'm, I'm going, I'm going to lose a lot of ability to consume proteins. So I'm going to have to get it somewhere else, but in the only other place to get it is through highly, I, I'd say Min, like clean carbohydrates that contain all nine essential amino acids your amaranth your quinoa that's all in this stuff but look check this out you say it's 90 dollars. it's 15 servings per container so if you take it every day it's only like half a month 
supply. It's just, <laughs> it's just bogus, dude. And that's where, I mean, like, this stuff is, I mean, people are going to take it, feel good, be hooked on it, great marketing, and these people are going to make a killing off this stuff. Oh, but, yeah, uh, they already are. You know they are, right? Yeah. I mean, the marketing they're putting into it, I mean, they're going hard in the paint, and, like, let's face it, dude, once again, like, just at the first review, and I'll be hard on it, probably harder than I should be, uh, but, yeah, the, the nutrition's good. I mean, it's fucking more ingredients than I've seen in anything. Um, yeah, clean I mean, ingredients. It's got it's got a lot of the you know a lot of the, the check marks in the boxes, dude. All those adaptogens. They got the fucking the probiotics. You know the, the enzymes help break it down. I mean, it, it, it seems like a closed circuit system in a good way. Um, and but you know, I think like overall, now I, I'm curious. I, I would I would try it. You know, just like fucking see what it is. Um, but that's like I, I think the big takeaway actually like this is like. I don't think you're gonna find many stories where like people are like, dude, Kachop changed my life. You know, yeah. from a fat piece of shit to fucking, you know, because there's one drink that I drink once a day. It's like, no, that's probably not gonna happen. The type of people, like, literally, it's guys like us, people that are already pretty fit, are gonna fucking gravitate to this. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think a lot of Kachop. folks outside that, that realm, especially when you look at the price, they'd be like, fuck that. Yeah, I think I'm going to. We should we should set out for. Recognition of the fact that Kachava, this this should be our journey genesis for the product review section would be like recognizing that Kachava is almost completely stacked with any core, most core, I would say, supplements or core, core mi micronutrients that your body needs on a daily basis to make the most optimal hopeless, homo sapien, but like how could you provide a hunting and gathering rubric to achieve all of that through just food and and thereby save yourself probably you know a solid 10 grand a year yeah yeah i'm, I'm with you and, and that, that's a good point too and, and kind of what i what i mentioned earlier is like these fucking superfoods that are found in these fucking once again up, 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 obscure fucking places around the earth like your camu camu and your fucking uh, I don't know, a and all, you know, it's like, what the fuck, dude, do you need that? You know, I don't know. <laughs> you know, like, probably not. I, I can't remember the last time I had Camu Camu. I can't remember the last time I had some fucking uh, Sasha Inchi. <laughs> you know, like, maybe I'm missing it, bro. Like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm being overly hard because I, I'm like, one, the price point pissed me off. And then, uh, I don't know, the marketing with like the old guy jacked and fucking steroids. You know, like, fuck you. you know? Yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, it'd be a worthwhile project. It looks, it looks it, when they be like, they should, I don't know if, you, uh, if you're on the main side, you see it like, it's got like chocolate chunks in it. She's it looks like a fucking milkshake, bro. It looks so delicious. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks great. And I keep getting yeah. hit with it. We'll probably both get blasted with advertisements after having co had this conversation. But yeah, I mean, uh, beware. I think that just gives us more opportunity to promote what we what we determine as intention and and kind of position against this kind of stuff. I mean, would I try it? Sure, but I mean, yeah, this is this is just marketing. This is just good yeah. marketing. Is that it's great marketing? But yeah. it's it's what bothers me most about it is like the use of the whole superfoods and ancient theme, and even the name Kachaba, and even this little glyph that they have. But then promoting it to like, this is for rich people, dude. Anybody that can, that can, I mean, this is for royalty. So you call it like royal. I mean, who can afford nine, 90 bucks for every 15 days? But, I mean, shit. That's, I don't know. I'm half tempted to buy it. <laughs> I, I, I think you should, man. Honestly, uh, considering what you're doing, I mean, this could be fucking helpful. Uh, I, mean, I mean, you're going to be, you know, hit up a bunch of different, like, source, I mean, you know, like, vegan type, like, veggie proteins and whatnot. This one seems to have a good mix of it all together. Um, yeah, I mean, the, so looking side by side, so Intech is a brand that I support. I think that they do a good job of. Positioning and pricing the product, I N or it's I think it's just yeah I N T E K, and they have a plant-based protein. 
It tastes like jelly beans or whatever. Oh, it tastes terrible. I don't, I don't see it, but it's a... Uh, the protein is 20 grams. The, the carbs are four. So yeah. that's, that's way better for, I would say, like something like I'm doing where I'm trying to increase my protein intake but stay to the lentil, to the lent fast. I keep saying lentil because I've ate a bunch of lentils today. But uh, yeah, this, this, yeah. Uh, this I'm intrigued by. Lactobacillus, what, what is the source of the protein? How do, they, how, do they, how do they pull that off? How do they pull off 20 grams of protein in a plant-based product with four carbohydrates? What is that? Good question. <laughs> and so, yeah, I mean, like, do you need all that bullshit? Um, or do you just, can you stick to the protocol and just get your micronutrients? I mean, basically, so what is that? You know, like, yeah, we could dive into that. What's the superfood? What is the value of that stuff? Basically, they're, Using exotic ingredients to achieve what? Yeah. Uh, antioxidants, anti-inflammation, promote promote immune system, promote cognitive function. Um, and that's pretty much all I can gather in the, in the space of superfood. I mean, you think of anything else? Brain function. Look that into like neurological health or whatever, inflammation, um, mobility, which probably goes in with, hand in hand with inflammation, antioxidants, and then just from there it's just macros and shit, you know? Yeah, and, and, and reducing to the ridiculousness, which which is something I, I try to get a little more versed in when it comes to this kind of shit. So, one drink a day is six bucks. Now go to Starbucks, go to Pete's, and get a coffee. You're fucking probably around four bucks. Right. So, I mean, is it that expensive technically when you look when you reduce to the ridiculousness? Like, mm, I guess not. <laughs> you know, if you look at what you're going to pay for a Starbucks yeah. or fucking, you know what I mean? Like, okay. Or if you went and got a beer at a bar, I guarantee you, your beer is not, I mean, it's different categories, I know, but like a beer is seven to eight bucks at the bar. But you can't live on I, one drink a day. Like, say, it's extrapolated out. Let's say you need these three times a day. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't, I don't, I, I wouldn't, uh, well, it's a new replacement, so I'm not saying I, I don't know if their intent is like it is a fucking like you should only eat this this every day. But I, I was I mean once again this is it's subjective, but I'm looking at like oh this is maybe what you replace lunch with, and that's essentially what I've been doing with uh, my protein drinks for lunch is like this weekend, dude, like fucking lunch coming. My girls eating health, you know, having chicken, you know, fucking amazing thing. Like nope, just protein for me, dude. Just a couple scoops, fucking sucks. But that's a meal replacement because I'm trying to cut calories. You know what I mean? And um, so I, I, that's my, if I had to assess like the whole point of it. But yeah, I mean, if you're trying to eat this all day long, uh, I mean, probably not a good thing, right? Uh, but maybe it is, I don't know. It just seems like that, like you'd be a little more unbalanced. I mean, in your case, you're probably gonna be just by fucking, I don't know, like I don't know how you balance that shit up, like meats and fucking the dairies and, but maybe you don't need it. You know, it's good, it's gonna be a great, you're, you're gonna be able to get some good data points from it. And I think the reason why you'll get really good data points is, most of the times, these kind of studies, like on um, diet, like when you were like severely fucking like right turn something, is that most people that do that, they're coming from a shit diet. You know what I mean? So just by default, by them like not eating shitty, they feel better, even if it wasn't the most optimal diet. Whereas you usually eat pretty good, you got a, a consistent diet, and it, it's it's not full of junk food all the time. So you'll be able to really tell, like, oh, is this better for me or not? Especially after forty fucking days, that's a good amount of time, I think, to discern any sort of like performance pattern. Yep. I'd say so as well. Uh, so I don't know, man, to kind of recap on picking. Uh, so introducing like our macro level ideas, intention, superfood, discussing superfoods, and kind of what is the rubric for what? What is the, what are those rubrics? What are the rubric for starting points? You know, thinking of what your goals. Or let's say objectives, ideals, and your ailments. Where are you? Where are you entering the the realm of left coast game? Yeah. And what are your intentions? And yeah. in, intentions specifically on around the conversation of nutrition, because that seems to be apropos for the moment. But also talking about things like we'll have other macro level programs like cave operations and talking about, you know, your 
task orientation and sort of implemented that a little bit, but how does that fit into your intention for cave operations? And just kind of having broad level conversations around our topics so people kind of know like what we're about and where they're entering and then talk about the fact that we're we're creating this digital interfacing through which to learn based on what what it is that your intentions are and reiterating the fact that why the intention is because there's this world of of worry and anxiety and um why that's i from my perspective and you and i sort of didn't land at the same place on this last time but rehabbing that conversation around like why i I see the world as a, in a constant state of anxiety and worry and kind of fear. And I know that I, I see your point and that that's not how you operate and everybody has a choice whether or not to operate that. It's not, it doesn't mean that that is, like maybe that's a false reality, you know, but it, it lies within somebody to, to make that conscious decision to pivot and like to, to but in, to do that, you kind of have to deconstruct some of those fallacies that are out there from the influencer influenza and saying like, well, shit, if I touch a car, you know, fuck, if I touch a piece of cake, like, you know, it's, it's game over, you know, like I only eat meat, you know, it's like, or I only eat plant-based and I never eat meat, you know, like all of these things that are out there that are just not not in keeping like there has to be a middle ground between that like knowing that information and then your your og that's smoking 12 cigars a day <laughs> drinking whiskey out of the bottle at 2 a.m and just doing what he, what he says makes him feel good so kind of like trying to have in depth like maybe from now until friday like kind of have, trying to create a little bit about those rubrics like what are the superfoods like what 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 are some of those roads you can take you know like for inflammation like what are what are the intentions of, of specific categories? Um, that's a lot to, to kind of unpack in a in a cast, but you know. Well, I, I, what I really like is kind of just you know I, I, I jotted down a few key points here because I think this will eventually evolve into a more complex uh, rubric for a program, right? And it's that how do you arrive at intention? Your rubric of intention. It's your goal, your ailments, training destinations. You do your research. You fucking implement, you know, you become a self scientist and then you arrive at that intention destination. But that's not like necessarily like you're there forever. You know, this, this, you can jump into any of these fucking steps all along the way because sometimes your goals are going to change, your ailments will change, and then you got to go back to doing research and then implement and then fucking you're at a new destination now. You, you know, you, you have more information, you have a different protocol that you're running, but sometimes that's going to, I mean, it should always be changing, right? Like, I'm always onboarding new things, taking out certain, you know, fine tuning, if you will, right? as you go, like, oh, my knee fucking hurts. Okay, well, I better, better put in some more collagen and focus more on that. You know, oh, I'm fasting more, you know, throughout the day. So like, maybe I need to use more fucking MCT oil. Like, what, whatever the fuck that might be, you know. Um, but it's like, a, it's a fluid and changing process. And I like that. And I think that's going to be central. Um, and it's a good way to, like, really approach, like, fucking, like, I, and, and I suspect, man, and can't prove it this time, but I got a feeling fucking diet is probably like one of the most important fucking things that you can do. You know what I mean? Like if you want to be healthy, I got a feeling like if you have just a tits diet, dude, if you really, if you do it right, I think, man, like your body compensation is, will be legit. You will feel good. Uh, I'm not saying, you know, like you can get away with not exercising because we know that's not healthy. But like, I think if you let, if you lean more heavily on diet, on the diet aspect, and which is the hardest one, I think. The hardest fucking one. It's easy to go to the gym. It's hard to eat properly all day long. You know, <laughs> and, and, I, and I think that's. I mean, maybe I'm just speaking for myself because I struggle with diet, man. Like I, I fucking, I'm hungry a lot. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, no, bitch, you're not fucking hungry. Like your brain just wants wants a dopamine hit. It just wants to enjoy some mouth pleasure. Um, not fucking hungry because I tell you what, after taking two scoops of protein for lunch, I'm like, ah, I guess I'm pretty good actually. You know. But like, but like leading up to it, I'm like, fuck, I'm not looking forward to it. Like, this sucks. I'd much rather have some chicken, some bacon. It's like, nope. Nope. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. It's, what I'm doing is not sustainable, um, I don't think. But, um, but you know, and I, and I broke it today, man. I had chicken. I had a, a, a fucking half a rotisserie chicken for lunch. So I was like, I got jiu-jitsu tonight. I, I justified it, you know? Pussed out. I'm working. I'm like, fuck, dude. 
like, oh, I'll just have some chicken, dude. Fuck it. That'll be cool. You know? I mean, it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world by no means, but it's like falling off the. I just don't know if that protocol is like the right, the right answer. Um, yeah, and I, I, there's a couple really key elements that I can't quite figure out how to hammer home, but it's like. Even the use of the word diet definitely implies restrictions and in, in like the focus on intentional eating or intentional nutrition is to avoid those situations where somebody's like, fuck, I can't eat a chicken breast. You know, it's like they, for you, that might work. And because you're a little bit more, I would say you're on your own journey and you, you are. A master of your journey you're at the apex actualization phase that won't work for a lot of people because yeah. because that psych that psychological mechanism i feel is an in, is a is an unhealthy relationship with nutrition to say like oh, fuck, i can't have a chicken breast you know like it shouldn't be that way and so like there has to be a more a more holistic interfacing with it and and that's why i think fasting works is because you learn to listen to your body and to know what it really needs and to by through the process of reduction perhaps pinpoint a few things like well was this causing me like a i don't need to listen to my desires like it's nutrition is inherently intentional like your body will tell you what it needs and what's satiating your body will tell you what is nourishing it and what is harming it and the best way to do that is through a brief but intentional moment of restriction or spe specificity like either bone broth fasting or these kind of things for the for the sake of like reinvigorating that primal instinct that we all have. Your body will tell you what's nourishing and what's destructive on your path. And from there, I mean, once you, I think, are at a phase like such as you, such as you are, you're a little bit more of a fine-tuned machine and you can, you can start to say things like, oh, well, I want to gain more muscle. Oh, well, I want to uh, improve my physique in a specific way for better functionality on the mats. Like, you're just further along the path and the ability to do that. And so it's, I, I caution having that conversation like on a cast where it would be a public interfacing or at least, at least have it in a way that really promotes the intention and, and I think provides an open gate. I mean, we've already talked about junk nutrition. Like these are things that absolutely 100% should never be on a cast or should never be in, 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 a, in a left coast cave's body high fructose corn syrup like never is there a time where that can be functionally used for nourishment on your path like take it from us we know it <laughs> you know but like uh, all the all the other things you know whether it's grains or amaranth or ancient grains i mean like i know that doesn't work for you but like i or even the protocol of timing of like okay not eating anything throughout the middle of the day that might work for some people and not for others but like how do you how do you train how do you train, like, kind of like martial arts? In this situation, this is when you use this set of moves. In that situation, this is when you use a different set of moves, but it's a fluid, ever changing set of moves. It's, it's really, this is really our hardest, our, our highest task. Fitness is definitely a lot less controversial, a lot less, um, I would say, sensitive. To, and I'm not trying to be sensitive, you know this, I'm, but I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm, I'm very much against the whole like demonization of nutrients. And so like I would never want to get into a position where we discuss nutrition in a way that would say like, don't eat a chicken breast in the middle of the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I would have to push back because like, you know, you, if, you, if you have a certain set of goals, like and as as a diet or as intention like tells you, you you may have to restrict. Meaning like, oh, yeah. why not do the chicken breast? It might just be, hey man, you've had too many calories today. You know what I mean? Like, and you will have to restrict and moderate uh, in accordance with whatever that goal is. And so there are certain times where like, yeah, that chicken breast, very healthy, um, but you can't have it more. Or you shouldn't, if, you, if that's your goal, right? And it's like, but if that's not your goal, whatever, dude, like do your thing. Um, but like, once, I mean, obviously, 
to your point, and thank you. Uh, like, yeah, being at a place where I'm fine tuning it, I'm experimenting, I'm in that point where I'm like researching, I'm implementing, I'm seeing like, do I like these results? It, is it the juice worth the squeeze, you know? Is it worth this effort every day? Is this something I can continue to do? So am I achieving what I'm looking at setting out to be? I mean, like, yeah, that's that's further down the line for a lot of folks. But I, I do believe that when you are in, in diet, that word, yeah, fucking tons of negative connotes. But like, to me, I look at diet as like, it's a, it's, it's a modality, right? It's a selection, meaning like you have a lot of choices on everything you eat and you have to choose. You're going to choose one thing over another, right? And it's like, are you excluded? Yes. I mean, is that a bad thing? Not necessarily. But like at any meal, you are choosing one thing over the other. And hopefully you're making like, you know, intentional choices that are somewhat in line. Or I mean, that's that's the thing. There's so many permutations of the different things you can eat at any given time. And like, and with working out, it's kind of similar, right? There's, I mean, some of the differences with, you know, working out, you do it once a day. With eating, and you, like, and some people snack, you might be doing that fucking five, six, seven times a day, depending on like, you know, what your habits are. I mean, that's a huge environmental factor every day. You know, so people have rest days from working out. Most people don't have rest days from eating. You know, eating has allergies and has these days. I mean, which there is kind of an analog there to like working out though, man. Like if you work out wrong, you fucking tweak your back. Now you got like a back allergy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have an irritation, you have inflammation. Um, so there's, there's some parallels there, and, and, and back to like the martial, I like that martial arts analogy also, but like also with martial arts, like in order to, in order to get the movement patterns down to be able to use in real time combat, is like you have to practice a certain, like you have to practice specific moves over and over again. I feel like with diet, it's kind of the same thing, like consistency is somewhat key, but that could be debated because maybe not. Maybe you want to have a more varied diet. I actually wrote an article in Left Coast Caveman that addresses just some theories around that. Just, I was playing around, I wasn't doing any research or anything, I was just, kind of riffing off some things we talked about before, uh, specifically around like eating with season, eating with, and kind of controversial, but eating by like, you know, your heritage, dude, like, you know, fucking you majority fucking European. All right, well, you know, maybe, maybe it makes sense to eat foods that are somewhat aligned with like those geographies. And I, I don't know if there's anything to it. It's just kind of a fun thought. It's like, you know, just a, a mind exercise, but maybe there's something to it. It's just, yeah, it, it's complicated, right? And it's like, well, what is the right? And I think staying with that rubric, you can't go wrong with that. Right? I mean, that's like easiest non, and, and you yourself are the arbiter of what work with what you're gonna play with. Maybe you will vilify, like, you don't have to vilify, but you, you will be selective. Like, I'm not gonna do grains, or I'm not gonna do fucking meat. I'm gonna, you know, like, but like, I think that's the most important part is taking that step and fucking like, staying true with that for a while, 40 days or however long, I mean, that'd be interesting to understand, like, what, what is a good cycle look like for trying some sort of new diet mod modality? You know, 40 days and go, man, I know what, I feel like shit. You know, I'm not doing this anymore. I lost weight, but I don't feel good. I don't have energy or, well, or I feel awesome and this is what I'm going to do forever. And, and honestly, like, that's how I got. And I've, I've definitely strayed from the whole keto thing. Even though I'm, I'm, I've been low carb, but um, when I was, you know, Pepsi, you know, I was working in San Francisco, I gained a lot of weight, bro. I was like, I want to say, uh, like, almost 220. And I was fat, fat as fuck. I think mean, my, my, my bridges were like 38. Um, and it's like, I did a keto thing. like, Oh, lost hella weight, and like it was pretty easy to stay on, and I just kept doing that. And then as time went on, I you know adjusted. Like, oh man, like I could throw some carbs and not like fucking blowing up too badly. Like I have beers here and there, and you know, and I was like, oh, I just. But of course, one thing that you know, what's you know, here's one motherfucker, and I don't know if you've noticed this, but age is a fucking factor, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Like things start changing, and like that's gonna be another one of those really difficult, but it, that's applicable to working out as well, right? Like age like can tell you, like you, you, it will limit you at certain things. Like, oh, uh, when you're 19, you could fucking belt out into a, doing sprint work, you power work without even warming up. Fucking try that, try that right now, dude. <laughs> you know how your joints would be like, you know, it's like, oh shit. Okay, like I feel like diet's kind of the same thing, man, because the things I used to get away with, man, like, I mean, not even that long ago, dude, like I was like, I had a good diet, but I would go off the rails on the weekends. And um, I stopped all that bullshit. Like, for the most part, man, like, when I go off the rails, it's like, maybe I had, like, some fucking, like, I, I went to an Irish bar over the weekend, and I had, um, here, here was my off the rails, was I had a, a shepherd pie fries. It was fucking so goddamn good, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. And, um, yeah, I felt like shit. <laughs> you know, the next day, I mean, of course, booze was involved also, but, like, my whole day was sidetracked. And I haven't weighed in. I'm like, fuck that. I'm not even trying to right now. I'm going to try to burn it off this week. But, you know, I was younger. Be able to fucking handle that, no problem. Just, uh, that's just another, uh, unfortunately, another complication that's added there. Like, and, and I guess people just have to take that. I mean, I don't I know if it has to be, like, that doesn't have to be mentioned because it is so subjective. And 
But yeah, it, I mean, we're, we're going into some like difficult territory. But I think that that rubric is not a bad starting point, Dan. It's not. Um, and I think that, yeah, I mean, I can get, a start, get us started for, because even the intention of debauchery, we talked about that sometimes, like what I'm getting at is like, and I, I'm guilty of this. How to avoid, I mean, yeah, the limitation will be there sometimes. And I'm, you know, that I'm going through, a, I'm going to not touch meat for 40 days, you know, but that's, that's set in something being accountable outside of myself, like, and willingly going through the challenge for a specific purpose and, and intention, like you said, like you noticed, and like, don't feel bad when the intention of debauchery is there. Like, yeah, dude, I'm going to eat some shepherd's pie and slam some beers and like, don't be that guy. Like I've been at work. With, I work in the food business and be that guy that's like, you're in the middle of a, like a big multi-unit, like large leverage deal. And you're spitting the food out because you're like, everybody sees you run to the running to the bath or trying to hide the fact that you're spitting food into your napkin and throwing it in the trash can after we're all, well, we're all sitting around eating it and talking about it. Like we're selling food here, dude. And you're not, eating it because of some kind of because of some kind of like that's bad messaging right there and, and, the, and this was the guy who was promoting the um yeah i can't remember like i tried the protocol as well it was called the it was called the anabolic diet and he was like on the, on, on, on the anabolic diet you know like so he had like specific you know that's a, it's still a specific intention but it's like dude like a specific intention per situation too. Like sometimes your family just wants to have a good time and eat and sing happy birthday and cut into a cake and eat it. Like, don't be that guy. It's like, no, you like, you have to have flexibility within your intentions as well and know that there's a, there's a time and place. For, I mean, it's, it's, it's like if you're having cake every night because you're sad and it makes you feel better because it gives you that dopamine kick, then you've got a, you've got a, a an intentional issue on your hands, but like, don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, how do we teach that rubric of intention around food? And yeah, um, yeah if, I, if I'm going through this 40 days of no meat, but then I'm in a situation where it's like, it's better if I did. Like, know your intention and your limitations. Don't be like, um, you know, and like, and like you, like, hey, fuck, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat some chicken because I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how that does with regard to having some better performance and energy on the mats this evening. It's like, good. Yeah. Yes. Well, and you know when it's time. Like sometimes your body, and again, like the, the earlier point too is like your body will tell you when that's when it's time for that, and like no, and like listening to that. Yeah. Well, that's. I think that's where I get. I uh, once again, this is just anecdotally speaking, but that's where I get in the mind fuck because there's sometimes I'm like, dude, I'm so hungry now. Why? It's like I fast every day during this time. Why the fuck am I so hungry? And I'm like, no, I'm not gonna eat. You know, like. But like my body's telling me like you need to eat motherfucker and like oh i want it so bad you know what i mean i'm sniffing fucking pie it's like no you know like it's, it's just like because i know i know like there's there's like some psychology there's like you're you're, you're, you're like it's fake it's fake it's fake it's fake it, it, like instincts to eat so like, you don't need to and I, and I know that like especially when i'm what i'm doing like when i'm me uh, measuring my macros and like you know just like calories like oh you know i've had three thousand calories i am not hungry at like eight o'clock at night you know what i mean like no i don't need to fucking eat like but I, my body's saying do you get a piece of cheese you know and like that's where like well, what's going on there you know is that am i just like looking for like mouth but and that that's where it gets oh. trying to call you um that's where it gets as you kill it I was gonna show you something oh. if you got if you got a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, man. I thought that was a uh, this um... And then then I'll let you get going. But I uh, do you like this? So I did record this conversation, but I was gonna send you the the link just for a separate like cave conversations. Do you like this kind of set to the to the left like that, or do you think it looks better, some like in the middle? Wait, where'd it go? Or do you think it looks better, like, set off to the... Yeah, I like it set off the side. All right. That's dope, dude. That's a great picture, too, man. That's, that was a kind of big fucking, uh... Yeah, everybody looks at that when I smile. <laughs> yeah, that was a cool one. That was back in the day. That was the first... 
the very first cave conversations. And so figuring that I would put this in the format, maybe maybe happy accidents happen in, in the cave, in the cave, uh, in the left coast cave, and just thinking about like what happened last week. Well, this is the time to re reiterate it, redo it, and then figure out our format. Or like this thing is an evolving project as it goes, and recording the conversation, posting that, all in a cave conversation, lots of good content, and like following it up with the three, like maybe on the casts, like give ourselves space to just free flow, but then like on the casts, being more like, all right, here's the three the three piece that we want to deliver, you know, like the three piece combo, boom, 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 you know, and having it, and having the more, sp having space to flow as well, that's what we do, but also having Kate conversations that give like kind of introduce topics and a lot of this stuff is, seems like valuable conversations. <laughs> Very good, brother. Well, I'm gonna I'll post this and send it to you, or I'll record, re-record this and send it to you. Next time I'll record it, like if I'm ever, I found out a way to do it. We'll see how it comes through, and then I'll put it on here and see how that works. Yes. Yeah, so what happened last week, man? Just a just a continuous of those. Uh,